Uh, I want to highlight something that will be near and dear to many Cal fans' hearts, the inside linebacker position. Um, obviously, Bears fans know uh, it, those at Memorial Stadium have had the pleasure to watch a lot of real good inside linebackers the couple, past couple seasons. That's not going to change because Coin Dang is still going to be up the middle holding down the fort. Um, but the spot next to him is vacant. Evan Weaver is gone, uh, and I'm sure we're all heartbroken uh, to see him move on. He was a force to be reckoned with. But uh, the, the question of who's going to replace Evan Weaver is one that really sticks in everyone's minds. Uh, I think the first thing that, that I've heard from, from a lot of coaches is that Coin Dang is really more than ready to step in. Um, that's not so much that he's going to replace Evan Weaver. He's just still going to be Coin Dang. Um, he's still going to be the dominant force he was last season. As to who's next to him, though, the name being thrown a lot around a lot is Evan Tattersall. Uh, he's a guy that's been with this program a while. He's had a lot of experience on special teams. Um, and I think coaching the coaching staff is really ready to see him step up and, and fill that position opposite Coin Dang to be that other cog in Cal's wheel, the other the other middle linebacker that makes this team tick, uh, which is very exciting. The Bears have produced a lot of great middle linebackers the last couple of seasons, and Tattersall could be next in line, especially with Coin Dang right next to him uh, doing some phenomenal stuff. You can see Tattersall step in the void. It, there are a lot of other names, though, especially a lot of freshmen who are coming in and who, who've gotten some praise. Uh, in particular, Maleo Iosefa and uh, Andy Alfieri are two freshmen who I think are new and will probably not see as much playing time, but have also gotten a lot of praise in camp. Iosefa in particular, he's really stood out. Uh, Coach Wilcox said he just looks like a linebacker, um, and he's really impressed in camp both with his tackling ability and his ability to drop back and cover the pass. Uh, I don't know if we'll see him a ton because this is an abbreviated camp. It's hard to get your freshmen up to speed when you only have this short amount of time to get them there. The fact that he's already standing out after just like a week or two of practice could mean we get to see him later in the season. And I think that's scary. I mean, we talk a lot about Cal's linebackers being tackling machines. I mean, that's what Weaver was known for. He wasn't a coverage guy. He was a get down there and make sure your running back never moves again type of um, but I think that when you have a guy like Coin Dang and Yosefer, who just long rangey athletes who can both come up and make plays at the line and can also drop back and hurt you in coverage, that can be really scary. So that's not something, or that's something I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if Yosefa gets some looks uh, in the box. But I think I think this one's going to be Tattersall coming up to replace Weaver. Yeah, the coaches have made it pretty clear that Evan Tattersall's ready to take that role. You lose one Evan, you gain another. That it seems like what it's going to be. Uh, another guy is Blake Anzalatis. He's in level as Tattersall. But um, I would I would expect him to probably play over some of the younger guys just because this, this defense has shown, or the defensive coordinators and Coach Wilcox have shown that they do prefer veteran experience. Even